Who did this? Whose idea was this? Yeah, yeah, don't worry because I'm a professional. I want to come to USA <laughs> to do um, uh, ch 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 challenge like man versus food. Like, uh, <laughs> man versus food? Is yeah, that yeah. even a thing? We just made it to our Airbnb in Florence. We went through like a thousand circles just to find it. Say hi, Shabab. <laughs> I look a wreck. I have a cold. Can't breathe. But it's not gonna stop us. Ready? Airbnb tour. So here's our little Airbnb It's one of the cutest thing ever. First of all, look how tiny the staircase is. No, no, no. What's that? <laughs> First of all, the door is like super old. And then you walk in and you have this little tiny loft. Like I don't even know what it's for, but look how cute it is. And so here we have just like a little desk space under the stairs. Here's the bedroom, which also is a loft, which is kind of cool. So here we are. Here's our little room. Let me do this. There we go room closet space and then upstairs There's some proper stairs tiny and cute still but then we have i think two beds up here i'm obsessed this is like a dollhouse slash airbnb of dreams and then look at these beams like these are like ancient we have a bed here pretty big bed and then another little bed here Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hi! I'm going to eat a little bit. I'm going to eat a little bit. I'm going to eat a little Ah! So cute! Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Why are we doing this in the dark? I am obsessed. I would look. Florence was not built for Americans. Let me just say that. <laughs> it's tiny. Everything is like super tiny. There was like literally a door that we drove by that was probably the width of my body. That's it. Okay, we're off to go find food before it gets too late because it's like almost 11. <laughs> Here's a little cute little bathroom. We have a little toilet and then a little shower. Okay, can use the bathroom now. <laughs> Here is the kitchen. It's super cute. I can't wait to open these big old windows in the morning and let the light in and make coffee. This is like what my dreams are basically made of. Look at the beautiful tile. This little breakfast area. This open, just like shelf space. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I find it so interesting how every like city, every region in Italy has like a different dialect. They have like different typical foods, different customs, different wines, different cheeses, different. Everything is very different. It's like very tribal in a way, but it's kind of cool. Una. Hag. ايه الفرق بين الدايلكت الميلانيزي من مثلا في النوت او اوكي انجلش سوري ديفرنس ان برونسيشن ان ذا دايلكت سبوكن ان ميلان فيرسس فور اكزامبل فلورنس وير وير ات ناو اور اذر ونز ميبي ذا بيبل اوف ميلان كان انديرستاند ذا بيبل اوف فلورنس بيكوز ذا ذا دايلكت از sometimes it's very um, different that they can understand, understand each, uh, each other. Can, uh, Annie, is, is it hard? Is Are some dialects hard to understand? Like they can't yeah. understand? Wow, is yeah. that different? If you if you hope, if you speak with the, the original dialect, no, no one hard. can understand you. Wow, very interesting. Very good. Hey, what's the most typical thing? What's the most typical thing? Ah, volete una pizza? No, un piatto da cucina. Ok, no, no. Il bicchiere di coltelli di Mugello. Credo abbastanza fa. Ok, so this is the little restaurant that is right underneath our Airbnb and it's so cute. So, so, so cute. <laughs> Sorry. So there's like little wooden, what do you call these? Florentine prosciutto 
and I don't know what else is here, but we're gonna taste it. It looks great. It looks super fresh. Okay, okay. Like, this is a local, a typical tradition, a uh, typical Florentine dish called fagiccini. It's ravioli stuffed with pears, pears, and some cheese sauce. Wow, that was really good. I didn't expect that to be as good as it was. The pear is not so sweet. Like it's pretty balanced, and the cheese sauce—it's like it's like a white cheddar cheese kind of macaroni and cheese vibe, but obviously not that. But that is really good. Okay, so this is like also a typical Florentine pasta. Pasta? Only, only Spanish. Okay. Spinach. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, but it, it looks good. Sorry. It is almost midnight, and Yusuf and I decided that we wanted to take a little stroll. And we're approaching the Ponte Vecchio, which is literally only like a 10 minute walk away from, surprisingly. So, so we're gonna do a little nighttime exploring. Sah? You look like a Murad. Shak like Shabbat. <laughs> Looks like a shadow walking beside me. <laughs> so try not to look as sketchy. But anyways, we're gonna go explore. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Even though it was his idea. Look at Ponte Vecchio's on the Christmas. It's so cute. I got the and the one from here will be they're posted up at every corner. <laughs> like so many restaurants are owned by Egyptians here. We're at the Uffizi Gallery. Oh my gosh, look at all the pretty colors! It's like a Pepsi commercial. <laughs> so we stumbled into an Irish pub. Not related to Florence in any way, but I mean, why not, right? And we walk out and we see this incredible view of the Duomo. Look how beautiful. Look how amazing it is. It looks so crappy right now. Not even cute. I can't even believe it. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> That's all for our evening stroll in Florence. Good night. Say good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Yalla, um, uh. Good morning from our Airbnb in Florence. We are about to leave our cute little space that we've had for the night and go explore Florence. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit in daylight. Okay, so we're getting ready to go. But look how cute the view is. Look how beautiful. Good morning, world! Cute little balconies. We slept, we slept in these little lofts upstairs. So there was a bedroom here, living area, and then our bathroom, and then the kitchen. I had such a great time. I edited here this morning, and I made my coffee, and I enjoyed this beautiful view. And then that was my little sleeping nook for the night. Everything was beautiful, the view amazing. And now we're gonna go explore Florence. Um, I'm super excited to see what the day holds. Let's go take on Florence. <laughs> we made it to Ponte Vecchio. Say hi, everybody. Hi. This time say hi. Yalla ba, I'm not his push. Use it. Okay, he doesn't want to, he really doesn't want to. <laughs> Come on, children. <laughs> okay, so we made it to uh, Ponte Vecchio. We're gonna cross the bridge and make our way into the old town. 
Okay, so it's still kind of early, so a lot of the shops are still closed, but this is Ponte Vecchio, so it's the bridge where we have, I mean, it's an iconic bridge in Florence. You've probably seen it in photos. There's jewelry, all kinds of like very exclusive goods, lots of jewelry, oh my gosh, okay. Gold, incredible. Also the casing of this is also very beautiful. Feels very medieval. Yeah, it's just a beautiful day. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Okay, so everywhere you go, um, I hope I don't mess this up, but everywhere you go, you see this emblem right here? It's iconic to Florence. It's on everything and anything. Um, uh, so from what I understood that it's based off of a, a coat of arms of a family, a Florentine family that is just somehow now become renowned for Florence. But it's so cool how like prevalent it is. I never noticed this last time I was here, but Yusuf was just explaining it to me and now I see it everywhere. So we just went to the pharmacy because we're a little sick, but it's still kind of slow, but the city's picking up. This is a little market space where they have lots of leather goods and gifts. Um, leather's very typical here in Florence. Um, so I'll probably be checking some of that out. Look at this shop. It's like a crepe shop, but it just looks like Christmas heaven. I just got my first lesson on like how to properly use film. Um, I had bought a film camera right before I came here and then I left the film that I bought in the mailbox so I forgot to pick it up. So that was perfect that we found like a place to buy film and then the owner was so kind enough to give me a little lesson. So we'll see how this roll turns out. So this is the Uffizi Gallery where we're about to go now. Already. We just got our ticket, but one of the craziest thing is like we're walking around the square and it's crazy how like there's all these statues of like famous artists, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, uh, oh my god, Dante, but it's crazy because like we're like in the square and like this is where they met, like this is where they're from, so it's, it's just wild like imagining that the same ground that we're walking on, the same square that we're in is like where these masters did their thing. I feel like just to like fully absorb the amount of artwork that is just saturating every single corner, it's like you have to like spend at least a whole day here. It's <sighs> crazy. There's just so much beauty to absorb around every corner. I don't know how it only keeps getting better. So we found our people. The resemblances. Uncanny. This is some. Look. There he is. Ahmed? Ahmed? Is it you? Can you tell me? 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 Can
Thank you. I pass. <laughs> we got our audio guides. You pay six euros, and uh, you can like enter in whatever number the artwork is, and then you can listen to it, and it'll tell you like so a background on the works. Um, I highly recommend eating beforehand. If you want to stop, you can stop. Um, you could probably do it in two hours if you're like walking pretty quickly. You want to get to like you know the good parts, but if you want to enjoy everything, maybe set aside like four hours. What's what did we order? Un pappardello al cinghiale, pizza in salsa tartufata, pizza come spaghetto, come bucatini pieni. So what is this? Ida. Bunny. <laughs> Look at the over there. What is it? Um, We're having our like appetizer and we we're talking about Italian food in the US. And we were talking about how like they're asking me how Italian food is in America. Mm -hmm. Alfredo, fit me Alfredo. <laughs> Alfredo is not even an Italian name in, in regards to like Alfredo pasta, which is so popular in America. Popular Italian food is not even existent. The pasta, particular pasta with tartufo. I don't know if you have to. Tartufo is like something like mushroom. Oh, oh okay, mushroom. That's like a mushroom paste? Yeah, but it's not a mushroom, it's more spent out of Truffle. Truffle, okay. Type, what's yours? What is this? It's uh, also pasta with cinghiale, so it's something like uh, pork. It's oh. not the pork, it's the, the pork of the. Um, yeah, I don't know. Cinghiale. Okay, and this is the uh, pesto ravioli, right? Yeah, the pesto. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Oh my goodness. We literally just ordered three pounds of meat. <laughs> Who did this? Whose idea was this? Yeah, yeah, don't worry because I'm a professional. So I, I will, if you want, if you can eat anything, I will, can, I will eat. Can you eat all of this yeah, by yeah, yourself? I have no problem. I want to come to USA <laughs> to do um, uh, cha 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 challenge like man versus food. Like, <laughs> man versus food? Yeah, Is that yeah. even a thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I don't even know this. I will come to eat this. Wow. So this is, what is this? Either. It's a special meat. This is like half raw. There's lots of blood. Oh, it's a blood. Okay, what is this? It's um, a special meat of Florence and a typical meat because it's uh, called Fiorentina, like Fior Firenze. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's um, a bloody, it's a little bloody meat. Um, and the speciality of this meat is that they give you it to you with a, a lot of um, hagmag beer. <laughs> it's very big. It's very big. Yeah. <laughs> it's very big. <laughs> Oh, salt bay. Me and her, man, salt bay. You said. That literally just melted in my mouth. I literally took a bite. I thought it was gonna be super tense, like, cause it's just thick and meaty, but it literally is like butter, butter. I don't know what this is or what kind of cut it is or what they do, but I'm impressed. A few minutes later. We did it. Yeah. Now I need a nap. I don't understand how we're gonna keep going.
and we are ending our night here at Piazza Michelangelo where you can basically see there's a Duomo right there you can see all of Florence you have this beautiful we're on a hill so you can see almost the entire city and you can see lights up on the mountains but I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, 24 hours in Florence um, it's been fun and I can't wait to be back to the city. It's always beautiful. I feel like there's just so much to absorb. 24 hours isn't nearly enough, but um, I think we got a lot done in just 24 hours. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure.